Today I fucked up by gluing my vagina. Tilde NSFW just in case the title didn't warn ya. So this didn't happen today, but a couple weeks ago. Though, it's still fresh in my mind and my poor undercarriage. I have a kink for C0 Corming, and feeling frisky, I decided to slip a condom and lube on my trusty old dildo to sleep with it in. Now, something to note with lube, is most dry sticky and weird from things like glycerin in them. This just so unfortunately happened to be water based lube with glycerin as one of the most concentrated ingredients. Anyways, I fall asleep feeling sexy, unaware of what absolute horror was to come. I woke up, and went to pull it out, and realized in abject terror, it was glued inside my vagina. I tugged, and winced, and tugged and winced some more. It wouldn't come out, and it hurt like I was peeling waxing strips off my vaginal walls. I admit I may have cried a bit. Horrible thoughts raced through my head I know it's really not physically possibly, but could I prolapse my own vagina? Is it physically possibly to rip my own cervix? I quickly got up and knew what I had to do. Waddle into a comfortable birthing position on the floor? Nope, still stuck. Push? Nada. At this point my face was bright red like a tomato, and my vagina was in burning red hot pain. I knew I had to act fast, so I stood up, bent over, and ripped that fusker out of my bits like a prom night dumpster baby. At last, I was free, until the pain set in. Too long didn't read. Not only does glycerin in lube cause UTIs and yeast infections, if somehow your vaginal walls are hairy, it makes a great fucking waxing strip. Edited to add, guys, women don't have hairy vaginal walls, it was a joke. Yes, as someone pointed out below a vagina can unfortunately prolapse, but generally only to very old women with very weak and pelvic floor muscles. This can be warded off with kegels to exercise the muscles. RIP my notifications, almost rips as hard as my puss were on that fateful day, pensive face, pensive face, pensive face, mate rest in peace, cat, coffin, 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 Lol I don't know why but there is something really funny and sweet about you feeling the, the need to censor the word cockworming. All while telling the world how you glued a dildo inside yourself and introducing many people to the existence of cockworming. Till cockworming. I'm honestly surprised it's not more known Lamau. Would sitting in the bath or shower with the hot water not have been more sensible? Panicking mind is not a smart mind. It actually is physically possible for a vagina to prolapse. I used to work in admin on the gynecology ward of my local hospital, and prolapsed vaginas are quite common as women grow older. Do your pelvic floor exercises, ladies. You have given me yet another reason to do kegels every day, distressed face. I feel bad but that was simultaneously the funniest and scariest thing I've ever read. I don't blame you. Don't feel bad for laughing at my dumbassery lmao. Today I fucked up by not listening to my dog when she's tried to warn us. Could lost house and life. First of all English is not my first language so sorry for errors. Couple days ago me and my husband were laying in bed in the evening with our dog, Mix Chihuahua and Yorkshire. Our bedroom is upstairs in first floor. Then suddenly she, dog started growling. I told her to be quiet that it is probably the neighbors in their backyard. Not unusual, but she didn't. She get up on all four and began to growl even more than she started barking. My husband said that he will take her outside to see what's going on there. That usually calms her down. He goes down but she refuse, still barking and growling on top of the stairs. And I heard him yelling, you have to open windows now. I said why. He yells back that our oven is leaking gas from somewhere. He had an old gas oven, and the isolator that connect the pipes to oven isn't sealing properly. He turn off the glass and we had to open every window to let the air in. Worst is that I want to light a candle beside our bed just as our dog started to growl. Just imagining that, we could lost our house, or even our lives not excluding the dog sends feeling down to my spine. I love my dog and from this day my husband isn't complaining about dog sleeping in our bed with us. Too long didn't read. Dog saves our lives by growling and barking when the gas was leaking from old oven pipe. 
There's been a few times my dog alerted us about people around the yard. Like, shady people. One that sticks out the most is when she make a ruckus in the middle of the night and we both begrudgingly got up to look around. Looked out the window to a bunch of cops in the yard and across the street along with one of their dogs. Never found out what happened but the next morning also saw some authorities diving in the lagoon. And another time we couldn't figure out why she was barking but the next morning I walk by another neighbor's place with a sign bent and tire tracks all over the yard with the car parked crooked in their driveway. I don't get mad when she barks. I look around to see who's outside and sometimes let her keep barking because she sounds pretty scary. That's your warning mofos. You would need a mixture of 10 to 1 air to natural gas to go off. I would say there is a good chance you would have smelt it way before it was a concern of igniting. I think I would be that in the morning don't know for sure not willing to risk it. Our house don't have vents and we keep window closes. But think better is to be careful than let anything happen. I'm more worried about the dog than us. Good doggy. Where is the fuck up? This story is in the wrong sub. Greed, but she didn't listen to the dog. Husband did. My dog started barking one day in the afternoon. She was mostly an inside dog but she was inside at the time. She kept barking and wouldn't stop which was odd for her. We finally decided to look around us when we noticed a fire truck outside our house. Apparently the neighbor's house which we have the key to was on fire and we didn't notice. Once the fire stopped my dog stopped barking. That's what I call a good god. They try to help their own way. Today I fucked up by fighting with my sisters and losing out on having one of the biggest gaming consoles of its time. Okay this actually happened around 15 years ago but still haunts me to this day. So I, F23, have two older sisters that are 24 and 27, but this happened when we were around 8, 9, and 12. My grandmother came over to visit us for Christmas and she has always been a wealthy woman. We were her only grandchildren and always got us awesome separate gifts in past years. Well this year, 2006, she had bought for all of us to share the Nintendo Wii. Me and my sisters were so excited when we opened it we immediately started setting it up. Grandma was even savvy enough to, to buy us a few games like sports and arcade games for it. As we had unboxed the entire thing we were just about to pop in the first game when we realized there were only two controllers. Me and my second eldest sister quick responded and grabbed up the remotes pulling them close into our chest and wrapping our arms around them. We did this because my oldest sister had quite the temper when it came to leading the way for new toys in the house and she immediately went for my remote flipping me from a seat crisscross onto my back and climbing on top of me pulling my arms back to get the remote. She wasn't hurting me but I wasn't about to give up the remote without a fight. This happened on our living room floor so my parents and grandmother watched in horror as they finished their brunch from the center island that sat just a few feet behind the couch. My parents knew this was normal for us but spoke up for us to knock it off as we better act like angels in front of grandma. Well my grandma wasn't having it and walked into the living room and said well I'm taking it back and proceeded to box up the entire Wii and put it in the trunk of her car. We begged her no, please, we will take turns and play nice but she wasn't having it. We had always hoped she would bring it back for a birthday, Easter, or next year's Christmas but it never happened. Now in 2020, my grandmother phoned me asking me if I would like some books to read. She has great taste in literature so I gladly accepted and she said in a COVID safe way she will box them up and put them in the garage that she will open when I arrive. I make the hour long drive out to her place, wave her down through the window and walk into the garage. As I am picking up the books I look up on a high shelf in the garage and I see it. It's just the original box the Wii. On my way home I called her to thank her for the books and mentioned seeing the Wii on the shelf. She laughed and said yeah still can't have it, love you have a safe thanksgiving. Too long didn't read, me and my sisters fought in front of grandma and she took back the Wii she had gifted for Christmas. 15 years later still had the Wii and says still can't have it. 
Your grandma sounds like a fan of consequences, which I can respect. Having a wee just collect dust over these years is a bit of a shame. Maybe suggest to her to donate the wee to child's play or a children's hospital or something like that. I bet there is a way that we can bring some joy into someone's day. I'm the eldest in my family so I often remember having to give up a turn on any major console that was popular at the time in order to keep the peace. Got so sick of arguments between my younger siblings about who got a longer turn, and never understood throwing controllers out of frustration. Yeah, still can't have it WTF lol grandma is a savage. Lamau me and my siblings are all still grounded from a game we used to play called roof ball. Pretty self-explanatory, throw a ball on the roof but don't get it to the other side of the house. My brother broke the kitchen window. It's been like 10 ish years and we're still grounded. My dad said that we're grounded forever, our kids are grounded, our grandkids, everyone in our bloodline is grounded. Modern day ancestral curse. Is your grandma Latina? Sounds like something my mom would do, though she'd likely either try, play it in front of me, or smash it with a hammer for every no please stop. Not Latina, but I definitely think a dame of the Irish Mafia or something. She borrowed me money to buy my first car, like 2k, and made me write a whole contract on paying it back signed and dated. Said if I didn't pay she'd send collectors. Very mysterious lady.